Yeah, we wanted to ask about like refugee status, like how it works in the United States these days with specifically Ukrainians with this situation. Mm -hmm. And she, the HR arranged uh, our meeting with a lawyer and then she was present at that meeting. So we got to meet her. And then after the meeting, she um, sent my husband this um, uh, information about Siwa. Mm -hmm. She's Indian. Okay. Uh, mine, mm -hmm. um, which uh, I did. Mm -hmm. because we were seeking for options for my mom to leave yeah. and it was really hard to find something because um, the train stations were full like um, it's mm -hmm. crazy how um, people just like kill each other over that oh, seat wow. in the train yeah it's oh, like wow. crowds there uh, so I filled out the form and then almost immediately maybe within like an hour or so okay. I got um, I, I left my phone number there in the form. Uh, so the first, the first person who um, sent me a message was um, Ch Chaitali, I think. Uh, okay, uh, that's the name. Yeah, and um, she gave me the phone number, the WhatsApp number of um, someone named Ashutosh. Okay. Uh, like um, as far as I understood, he's a big coordinator mm -hmm. um, for Ukrainian refugee evacuation mm -hmm. and specifically for the region. That directly helps support. Uh, help support evacuation and right. then they assisted um, 35,000 um, stranded people and as of right now they have 150 plus right now volunteers yeah. on ground in Ukraine um, helping around from you guys from your organization from our organization wow. yes and you guys are helping not just Indian students right? yes you are helping we're everyone. helping all all everyone um, wow. we help um, African American students because there's a little bit of the racial issue of how it was hard for oh, African American yeah. students to leave. So we helped. Um, I think we were in contact with the Nigerian government, okay. and so we were able to evacuate um, of different ethnicities wow. to, and Ukraine. Yeah. Um, and so uh, we had um, volunteers from 25 uh, 25 plus countries and 12 plus nationalities assisted. So that doesn't include just Ukraine spirits, 11 right. plus more um, wow. yeah. that we helped That's with. That's amazing. Yes. And this is like all volunteers. Like They're all volunteers. They, they have their own jobs, but they took their time out wow. to help. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I like so in so much sorrow um, going through a lot these days and um, living their lives, not just their houses, but mm -hmm. Uh, their lives, their memories, their families, because um, men cannot leave Ukraine right now, right? So yeah. everyone who is from 18 to 60 Ukrainian men, uh -huh. they cannot um, is, um, escape, right? They have to protect their country. So by law, they are not allowed to leave. So, uh, you know, a lot of women with children seeking for safety and being encouraged by their mm -hmm. men have to leave them there yeah. have to leave their husbands leave their sons um of course it's hard of course their mm -hmm. heart aches um but you know i feel like we have to be optimistic and we have to believe in our victory that yeah. ukraine will win yeah. we have to hope for the best uh -huh. and just survive you know go mm -hmm. through it and um maybe this experience will um, make us stronger, enrich us emotionally yes. somehow because you know we meet a lot of amazing people on this way mm -hmm. and I know for sure that I'll be in touch with the people who helped me and they're my friends now you know yes. um, yeah Shatosh even told me that I can visit oh, <laughs> him and so nice. yeah be my guest he said that's like wow he's my friend you know mm -hmm. yeah